Stephanie Turner, Deloitte is out with a new study about millennials in the workplace, and you've been working on it with the Billie Jean King Leadership Initiative. So Stephanie, my first question is this. The headline seems to be that millennials, they view the workplace differently from Gen Xers and boomers. How so? Yeah, I think the first thing we're seeing within our research is purpose. Millennials want purpose in their work. Now, this isn't something that millennials are saying is in, this, in sacrifice of profits, if you will, but they're saying that profits will follow purpose. That's the number one priority. And then beyond that, they want accelerators such as technology, innovation, collaboration, and communication to really make the workplace dynamic and fruitful for them. And 8 in 10 in the survey said that technology will help fulfill them at the workplace and that profits, as you said, are not paramount. What's wrong with these kids? We're on Wall Street right now. <laughs> What's wrong with profits? Yeah, they're not saying there's anything wrong with profits. They're saying that purpose comes first. They're saying that they want to have an experience at work where purpose is paramount. They're also saying that technology is an accelerator. What that means is that technology is being used so that they can have increased purpose, increased collaboration, increased communication, more effective relationships at work innovation by and large will affect and drive profits but that's something that they're using to get there and then finally it's technology as a way to increase their work-life balance and flexibility they want to be able to solve problems faster and they want to be able to solve them from anywhere around the globe and billy jean king now tennis is famous for its teen sensations disrupting the hierarchy so will these millennials according to the study will they disrupt the workforce can't this be bad for a, a workplace well, first of all, by 2025, just about 75% of the workforce will be millennials. So I don't think we have a choice whether you like it or not. I like the fact they're disruptive because that's, that's how you learn. That's how you have to go and think and solve problems. There's three things that I think uh, that I've learned just through Deloitte, but also three things that I talk about with young people and that I have found that people have inner and outer success and it's relationships are everything. And millennials love relationships. If they're not texting, they're doing something else with their technology with kids. Um, also that you keep learning and keep learning how to learn. You, they're talking about technology. That's what's going to advance. That's what's going to make my life better, easier, my work life balance, all those things. And then be a problem solver. And that's what we're talking about. You've got to be a problem solver to be successful. And you have inner and outer success with that, not just outer success. I think millennials today want both, not just outer success. I think uh, the boomers, sometimes we're so much about outer success is you know getting getting to the c-suite getting more money so all those things i think there's more of a balance now so i think it's actually healthier and how should the boomers uh, adapt to this new breed of millennials in the workplace because there needs to be some stability and the millennials still have a lot to learn they may forget that but they have something to learn right uh, i've talked a lot I've, i keep talking to boomers getting my mini survey and I, they, I find a huge mix of response. I find some boomers absolutely adore and love the millennials because they're fun, they're innovative, they're much better on, with technology so they help the boomers uh, you know, navigate that better. Uh, and then you get other people who think, oh they, the millennials can't focus, they can't do this. It's like they drive me crazy. So I, but I still think it's good because we have to work together just like we we're disrupting my generation to my parents' generation. I mean that is just human nature. And then finally, Stephanie, how is Deloitte using this survey to help its clients? In many, many ways. So first and foremost, I don't know if anyone has heard, but Deloitte just did a increase in family care giving. So that's 16 weeks. And that's in response large part to what we're seeing with this millennial generation and the things that they want, the ability to focus on work and life. The other piece is to technology and real-time feedback. Millennials want real-time communication, real-time feedback. Performance management is something that they don't want to get six months or annual. So Deloitte's moved to a pulse-based performance management system. And finally, just want to say that these are things that benefit the total workforce. It's not just the millennials that are benefiting from these, but in fact, we're hearing by and large, our total workforce is really excited about some of these changes. You know what millennials are really help the best at? Is my generation and the boomers fought to get people to the table. They want a voice at the table and they want people to be their authentic self. That is bottom line, be your authentic self. Do I love that? I love it. Well, thank you for coming to our table here at the street, Stephanie Turner. Thank you. Thanks the a lot. Jean Thanks, King. Greg. Say hi to Lewis and Alexander for me. I will. And thank you for watching the street.